Goodreads has more than 15 million registered users. Why did it catch on to the degree it has? So I think, first of all, our mission is book discovery. So we're basically in the business of helping people find good books and helping them share those books with friends. And that's something that just people innately want to do. So we've created a place where you can connect to friends, browse all their bookshelves, find a ton of good books through that. Um, and that was really the genesis of the site, is discover good books through your friends. Right. And it's been really fun for me on this wild you know, seven-year ride that I've been doing this yeah. um, to see the site evolve. So it's gone from being all about friends to actually becoming a community where people, instead of friending people they actually knew in real life, started meeting each other through the site and joining book clubs together and following other people with tastes. Um, for instance, there's some guy in Conrad who lives, named Conrad who lives in Brooklyn that I don't know, but I love his taste in books, so I follow him. <laughs> um, so this, this kind of thing happened where people are connecting to each other, finding really good books through each other, and that's really worked. And then lastly, we, we've launched a Netflix-level book recommendation engine uh, about a year ago, which yep. you know, increased book discovery on the site 60% across the board for the few months following the, our launch. And it's a really powerful way of, of finding new books because it's personalized based on everything you've read before. Right. Now, how are Goodread users' reviews different from those you find on Amazon and elsewhere? Uh, so the first thing we do that's really, um, that I love about Goodreads is when you look at a book page, we're going to show you reviews from your friends and people you follow first. Uh, and I'm lucky I've gotten all my friends on the site because I, I started it. Um, right. So um, whenever I hear about a book in the world, I go look it up on Goodreads. Invariably, uh, I have a couple friends who've read it, and I can form a better opinion on, on what that, if that book's actually interesting to me or not. Um, and if my friends don't have a long review, I can ask them about it, and I know who to ask. Right. Um, the second thing that I think really makes our reviews stand out from other places is the audience that people have in mind when they're writing these. So I've never written a review on Amazon. I don't know what the incentive to do that is. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, people don't really know who they're writing for there. Whereas on Goodreads, you know that who's going to see your review is your friends and the other people that follow you and people on the site. You're really writing right. it f with people in mind. And so you get a much more genuine, much more honest sense of a book um, from that flavor of review. And that's really the feedback we see from uh, most of our users who love the site is, I can tell what a book is about much, much better than anywhere else by going and reading the Goodreads reviews. Mm -hmm. So does the Goodreads top 10 differ from the New York Times top 10? The Goodreads top 10 does differ in that it doesn't exist. So oh. our mission is really book discovery, but personalized book discovery. Right. So what is the top 10 of books my friends read versus books your friends read? It's going to be different. Um, what is my recomm the recommendation engine we have going to recommend to me? versus you, uh, that right. depends on our reading taste. So we really believe that there's not a one size fits all. Um, you know, maybe everybody does want to read Harry Potter, but going beyond that, um, people have really varied tastes and, and that's what we really want to cater to is helping people find the best book possible for them. Right, okay. Um, for my last question, is Goodreads a data company? I would say we're becoming a data company. We have over 460 million uh, data points about books that people yeah. have rated books or, or added to to read. Um, but we're in the media business today. We're in the business of helping authors and publishers market their books to readers. Mm -hmm. And that's where we make our money. We, we sell book launch packages to authors and publishers right. and really help accelerate, build that early buzz that a book needs to succeed when it launches and then accelerate that growth uh, through ads on the site that are clearly marked as ads. but Lots of our readers um, you know, are power readers, so they love the contextual ads and, and will often click on these. Um, and that really can, can help accelerate a book and drive interest in it and help make it a bestseller. And we, we've had numerous cases where, um, you know, like Fifty Shades of Grey, uh, we were instrumental in helping make that book a bestseller. Right. Or we, where we've been able to show that Goodreads can have impact. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me today. Thank you for having me.